In this video, we show you how to shift the PET CO2 target range in IntelliVent ASV in order to reach your PACO2 targets. This scenario shows a moderate COPD patient who is intubated and being ventilated with IntelliVent ASV. At a peak inspiratory pressure of 21 centimetres of water, the default target range for PET CO2 according to the current P-peak is 37 to 44 millimetres of mercury. 30 minutes after starting ventilation with IntelliVent ASV, the patient's PET CO2 value, which is indicated by the small yellow cross, is now in the middle of the target range at 41 millimetres of mercury. A blood gas analysis taken at this point results in the value shown here. The pH of 7.28 is below the clinical goal of between 7.35 and 7.45. Assuming a stable PaCO2 PetCO2 gradient, we should aim for a PaCO2 value of 40 millimetres of mercury to increase the pH level. As PaCO2 is currently at 50 millimetres of mercury, we need to reduce the PetCO2 target range by 10 to bring PaCO2 down to 40. To do this, open the IntelliVent ASV settings window and select the target shift control in the CO2 elimination window. You can adjust the PET CO2 target range to the left for lower values or to the right for higher values within the defined limits. In this case, we want to reduce it by 10 millimetres of mercury to achieve the desired PaCO2 goal. As you can see, the target range has moved to the left and is now between 27 and 34 millimetres of mercury. If the clinical conditions or goals change, consider doing another blood gas analysis to confirm the target range or to shift it as needed. The time lapse shows you how IntelliVent ASV now adjust the percent minute volume by a maximum of 1% per breath to bring the patient's PET CO2 value into the new target range. With the increase in percent minute volume, the peak inspiratory pressure has increased as well. So the target range has changed slightly to between 27 and 35 millimetres of mercury.